in the middle of bloody wheels and now I've ended up in this car. I mean, this isn't your normal car, is it? It's not your normal car. Yeah. Hold tight. Really? So for me, this is a bit of a toy, isn't it? It is, yeah, it is really a weekend toy. I mean, does that come from your childhood? Oh. I was into cars from a, from a fairly early age, mid-teens, sort of 14, 15. Uh, my friend's dad had a Supra, uh, and I fell in love with that car straight away. Oh, was, was a Supra your first car, or? I did have an, another car before that. My first car was uh, an Astra Estate. Right. <laughs> And then you've moved to your Supra, obviously. Was that like your second car? That's right, yeah. So my, my Mark III Supra was, uh, I was 21 when I bought that. And if you didn't have a Supra, what car would you have? If money was no object? I do like Porsches. Right. I'm not going to lie. Uh, GT2 would probably be. <laughs> but you've got a Supra. Why would you need a GT2? I just, I just like the look of the GT2. I like everything about well, it. Am I, am I wrong in thinking that this would be a GT2 on track? I'd certainly think I would. You give I'd them a good to, run. Yeah, that's it. I'd be able to keep up with one, depending yeah. on who's, who's driving the GT2, obviously. But, but this isn't GT2 money, is it? No, and it's that, something I've, bu I've built myself. Yeah. And what type of cost are we looking at? From full build to now? I've never really added it up completely. <laughs> is that because it's eye watering or? It could, it could be, yeah. yeah. And uh, I wouldn't want, want my wife to know either. Okay, right. So cost-wise, I'm I'm probably into sort of the mid thirties, thirty-four, thirty-five thousand. That's not bad considering the spec that you've got of a vehicle. That's yeah, for what it is, yeah. Now, am I right in thinking that you've built this not just for the track, obviously, but I think, especially with the reg, this is specific for the Nurburgring, isn't it? It it is, re yeah. And if you right. like me, that that's my most favourite place. Absolutely, number one track for me. Yeah, I mean, what type of times are you doing round the ring? Uh, so bridge to gantry i've done a seven minute 18. wow that's that was great. the back end of last year and i think the best thing with this super is that you can drive it there take it round that's right and drive it back and also i believe that you carry all your spares in there your tires you know all your spares in terms of tools yeah this car's flexible for everything isn't it really it is really i've, tr I've tried to make it as usable as possible yeah so i can drive to the track drive around all day and then drive home again so you've had this car for quite a while, you spent a bit of money on it, you've got it to this spec which is 700 brake horsepower. 
Yeah. What mod mistake have you made on this car? Probably the worst mod I made was uh, fitting some cheap suspension. Uh, it didn't really work as I wanted it to. And then I was going to try and adapt that suspension to do the job, but I ended up pulling it back off. In terms of suspension on there, you've got coilovers, which are? The Nitron R1. Great, and then wheels? The, my road wheels are the BBS LMs. Yeah. Uh, which are a really nice set of wheels. And then I use the uh, R888 tires. So you can use them on the road still as well? And on the get road and track, the track. I do tend to use uh, either semi slicks or full slicks. Obviously caged as well. That's right, we've got cage. Lightweight carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, yeah, what, use carbon fiber. What weight do you reckon she's coming in at? I've recently had the car weighed because I had it corner weighted uh, and it was 1440. And it's a big car, isn't it? It, it so is, it's, yeah. yeah. They're um, normal out the factory there, 1650. Yeah, so you've lost so like I've, I've nearly got about 200, 200 kilos yeah, out which, of the car. Which is yeah. a massive difference. Yeah. But then it's the engine. So oh, you've lost 200 ki kilograms yeah. and you, you know, you're about 700 brake on full boost, aren't you? That's right, yeah. So in terms of engine, how have you got that power? Uh, I fully forged the engine, so I've got its Tomy rods, CP pistons, which are a, a common uh, what people use, uh, ARP studs, um, bolts yeah. throughout. A bit of off subject, but how do you afford all this? Like, what do you do? Um, well. I, uh, I run my own business, so I'd, I'd uh, supply and install security systems, CCTV, alarms okay. and door access. You're a family man, I know your lad loves this car, doesn't he? That's, he's absolutely crazy on the car. Would you let him drive it? I will eventually let, let Alex drive it, yeah. Yeah, right, we'll hold him to that with this video, Alex, just yeah. so you know. But also, your wife as well, so you're a family yeah. man, yeah, just yeah, like me. Yeah, two kids, yeah. So obviously, how do you find time to do the car stuff and still have family time? It's normally on an evening or some weekends yeah. uh, working on the car. So I'll just try and fit it in wherever I can. And do you prefer the car more or your wife more? <laughs> I've got to be uh, careful answering that one. Obviously, uh, the, car, the car comes second. The car comes second. Well, to be honest, Simon, I think you've built an absolute monster. I love how that you've gone back and forth, you've fettled with things, you've changed things, you've developed your own driving, but also developed the car. And if the yeah. car's developed quicker than you, let's say, because you've yeah. changed something, you've then adapted to then That's get better right. with the driving with it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Where do we go from here? Um, I'd like to just try and use the car as much as I can, book some more track days uh, and get, get it on track. Well, mate, I just can't wait to get back into it. So we uh, should we head off? Yeah, let's do it. Hey, nice thank you one. very much, dude. Let's get back in. Wicked day today. Yeah, it's been good, hasn't it? Yeah. Do you mind dropping me off at last fine? I'll take you all the way. Are you sure? Yeah, not a problem. I, I tell you what, can I have a drive? What? You're joking, yeah? Can I not have a drive? No chance, mate. Why? No. What? You talk too much. Don't be like that. I'll tell you what. Hey, this is yours, isn't it? Hey. There you go. You have to get somebody else to take you. Go on. Like that, Jump out. Thank <laughs> you.